So today you're going to have a look at prepping this nodule. This is one of the ones from Saltwick Bay. Uh, it doesn't look particularly promising if you just look on the outside, uh, but it's the right sort of shape. So I hit it with a hammer uh, and it popped open, exposing the outer world of an ammonite. So you can see these edges here uh, on the negative and the positive here. So my goal is to try and see if I can prep out the middle here, uh, but doing it in such a way that I can still cover it back over, producing this sort of beautiful uh, concealed specimen. Uh, that's the goal. We'll see how we can do it. It may not be perfect, but uh, it's my first time trying to do it like this. So that's my goal for today, and let's see what we can do. So I was trying to prep it with the, the fine stylus, but uh, it's actually a much harder rock than I first thought it might be. Uh, so I'm going to rotate the bigger one to try and do a better job prepping this out first before going back to the fine stylus. So the prep's not going as well as I would have hoped. Um, the bit that was visible before this outer wall here and a little bit here, still there as your landmarks. Uh, I've exposed a tiny little bit more of the outer world and started to get the next world in. Uh, but the matrix is really sticky. It means that uh, the surrounding rock, this matrix as we call it, uh, is well adhered, is well stuck to um, the fossil. Usually the fossil and the matrix, there's a bit of a separation between them. So when you're using the the tools, the pneumatic drills, the electric um, scribes, uh, what happens is this matrix, this rock, will pop away from the fossil. Uh, unfortunately, it's not going very quickly on this one, so it's going to take a bit of time. So I'm just going to call it time there for the day. I'll come back to it with a fresh set of eyes uh, and hopefully pick up and be able to show you some more tomorrow. Right, back for day two effort on this. Um, super sticky nodule with a nice ammonite in it and uh, so we'll see if we can get a bit further with it this time uh, not optimistic but we'll take it nice and slow and see what we can do so catch up with you guys a bit later So I finished with the prep, uh, far from my best, but part of that is the rock was incredibly sticky, it didn't want to come away nicely from the fossil, the other part of that is I tried to prep it such that I could keep the, the top and the bottom bit still nicely joining together, uh, so I couldn't remove as much of the rock uh, as would have been ideal to make this prep a lot easier. Um, my choices, my decisions um, definitely did not help me. Um, but at the end of the day, what we get then is an ammonite just exposed on the inside. So if you remember, these are the two little bits. It was this bit here and this bit here that we're just displaying. Uh, I've taken it down to what's left of the middle. Uh, it's not all there. Um, so that's what it is. A nice little uh, piece where you can kind of take it apart and show off what you might find on the beach versus what's inside them. Um, so the next one hopefully will be a bit nicer. I think I might have a look at uh, another deck that looks a little better. It's only got a little cap on it, so I'm hopeful that will prep fairly nicely. That'll be my next one to look at. So thanks a lot for watching. 